Well, he runs through a band that he wants, and so I'm gonna show out soon. Remove the stains from your speaker drivers. Over here, I got a driver out of a Yamaha NS1000M speaker, which I started working on. However, this is actually the last story, and the other driver I work with, this is how it looked like. And this is the result, as you can no doubt see pretty much free of stains although some very few stains are still visible if you get very close but other than that pretty much turn out like new if your speaker has a grill on it just like this one well you should simply remove it on this particular model it's actually glued carefully pry it out with a flathead screwdriver then usually the driver will be very dusty so you first want to remove the dust and by doing it you need a vacuum cleaner and one of these brushes that attaches to the vacuum cleaner hose and gently vacuum it around now if you don't have one of these a regular brush or even a toothbrush works However, you might want to keep the vacuum hose to a certain distance. You don't want to directly suck on the cone. And once you're done vacuuming it, simply use a paper towel and some acetone. If you happen to have a paper cone, like most speakers should have, why acetone? Well, I've tried several different chemicals and actually acetone is the best because not only does it remove dirt very well it also evaporates fast and that's what you actually want on paper cones however if you don't have a paper cone you might not want to use acetone because it's pretty hard on plastic and other materials you can use some window cleaner and whatnot if you have the shiny stuff whatever else material you have or you can use a cleaner that's not hard on anything what you simply want to do is grab a paper towel and soak it in acetone but soak it properly because if you don't do it it won't pick up the stains and while you do that get your other hand underneath it and hold against the paper comb because you might want to apply a bit of a pressure not too much but basically keep rubbing while holding against the comb from the other side so it doesn't move so much. Now you can also use acetone in order to remove the paint from the edges if your speakers got painted just like these ones. It really depends what kind of a paint it is. If it's wood or metal paint or whatever kind of a paint it is and it doesn't come out with acetone then you might want to use paint thinner. Well if paint thinner doesn't work either then your only option left is wet sanding the edge of the speaker what you want to do is fill up a small bucket or a container of some sort with water cut a small piece of sandpaper and dip it in the water and just work your way through it and as more water builds up take a paper towel and wipe it off 400 grit sandpaper is fine you can also use higher grit sandpaper but it'll be harder to strip the paint with higher grit sandpaper so 400 is alright be careful though not to spill any water on the paper cone itself because unlike acetone it will take quite a while to evaporate and too much water may damage the cones this video is mainly focused on paper cones because most speakers do have paper cones but if you have plastic cones or whatever other material as I said earlier you can use window cleaner or dish soap mixed in warm water be careful with the acetone if you have rubber surround on the cone mix up dish soap with warm water and work your way with a sponge and once you're done with that simply take a towel or a piece of cloth soaked in regular water and wipe it off while you wipe it off with clean water you're also rinsing the soap so you won't have a soap build up and with all that being said now I'm gonna end this video hope you liked it if you did why not thumbs up check out my other videos and if you like what I'm doing subscribe and I'll definitely see you next time cheers